My boyfriend was the cutest guy, and I was so angry at these bullies for cornering him and dumping their sodas on his head. Russell would never hurt a fly. A wuss, according to these jerks. The biggest one made Russell tie his shoe, and I had to watch my boyfriend fumble with his bully's laces with a soda dripping down his face. My jaw clenched and my muscles tightened. The veins in my biceps swelled and suddenly my shirt ripped from the sheer size of my arm. Everybody was looking at me. Hey guys, my name's Becky, I'm 20 years old. I wanna tell you the secret that turned me into a muscled she-beast and how I used it to crush bullies everywhere. The paper called me a hero, but I wasn't always heroic, that's for sure. My freshman year of college, I was the most ignored girl on campus. All I wanted then was to join the hockey team, but they wouldn't let you try out for the team until your sophomore year to show that you could handle your studies. I didn't make too many friends, except Russell. I had a crush on him since we met at orientation, but I didn't know if he felt the same. He probably wanted one of those Barbie girls who liked to pamper themselves up like a dumb baby doll. Every once in a while, we would run into each other and I was hoping he might make a move, but he didn't. One afternoon, I invited him to go ice skating with me and he actually agreed. Russell had never been on ice before and there were these bullies mocking him every time he wobbled. And then they chased us off the ice. They said they were on the hockey team and they needed the rink to practice. I told them that I was going to try out for the team, but they just laughed at me and said that they never allow a girl on the team. I have to admit, I was sort of intimidated. If these guys were on the team, I knew tryouts would be physically intense. That night, I told myself that I would make the team no matter what they said or what anybody said. It was my dream to play hockey and nobody was going to get in my way. I was in the gym at the Phys Ed building late one night trying to get myself in prime shape. Then I saw this strange satchel. I picked it up and was taking it to the lost and found when I ran into this crazy haired guy, who I later learned was Dr. Iverson, the head of the bioengineering department. That's my bag, he said, and snatched it from me and checked inside. I told him I found it by the weights and he looked me up and down. You're a weight trainer? He asked, suddenly interested in me. I told him that I was training for hockey tryouts. I can guarantee you would make the team, he said laughing, but we're not ready for testing. He showed me these syringes filled with a strange blue liquid. Inside this syringe, he said, is heat shock protein that has been chemically induced to create superhuman-sized muscle growth and adrenal functions. He was really intense as he looked at me, Maybe you could test it, he said. I imagined myself skating with superhuman speed and rocketing a superhuman slap shot. But just as soon as he suggested it, he changed his mind. It's too early, he said, and he rushed off just as frazzled as when he arrived. I was about to hit the showers and call it a night, but I noticed one of the syringes on the ground. For some reason, I picked it up and took it home. I'm not sure why, but I kept wondering what it might be like if I tried it. How dangerous could it be? The next day, Russell and I ran into those bullies again. This time, they ate Russell's lunch, and it made me furious. I wanted to show them all up. That night in my dorm room, I used the syringe. At first, it was nothing, just the dull ache of the needle. But then I got this icy hot kind of burning in my arm. I clutched my arm in pain as it pulsed and throbbed, but I could feel the muscles growing and suddenly my bicep bulged out. And then the rest of my arm swelled with massive muscle growth. I felt like I was walking around with a bionic arm or something. And I started to freak out because I looked so different. After about a day and a half, my arm finally began to decrease in size. It was still red and sore, but at least I could hide it under a long sleeve. Russell and I found some time to catch a movie. We were leaving the theater when suddenly those bullies caught up to us. They accused Russell of trying to get them expelled and they started to corner him. This is about where we came in. One dumped his soda on Russell's head and the biggest one made him tie his shoe. My jaw clenched and muscles swelled. 
Adrenaline coursed through my veins, and suddenly my arms ripped through my shirt and swelled to a massive size. I grabbed the biggest one by the back of the neck with my monster arm, and I pulled him back. I remember Russell looking at me with wonder in his eyes. I promised that bully if he ever messed with Russell again, he'd have to go through me first. And then I tossed him aside like a rag doll, and he flew about five feet and smashed into a car. Then I flexed my muscle arm and scared off the other bullies. Whoa, Russell said, mesmerized. Suddenly, I felt self-conscious. I worried that Russell would think I was a freak, but my insane muscles didn't seem to bother him. In fact, I think he was more into me. I told him the story about the doctor guy at the gym, and Russell said we should see him. Maybe he could explain it. I showed my massive arm to Dr. Iverson, and he was conflicted. On one hand, he was mad about what I had done, but on the other hand, he was excited to see its success. He suggested we finish the trial by giving me a full body injection. I didn't know what to say, but Russell reminded me of the hockey tryouts coming up soon. I wanted to crush the competition, and I was getting some extra attention from Russell. So I committed to more muscle growth. I was going to be a full-on muscle girl in moments. Russell watched as Dr. Iverson shot up all my major muscle areas. My back, my calves, my thighs, my whole body, and soon... I was swelling up like a balloon. Dr. Iverson explained that natural adrenaline could trigger muscle growth. And when I looked in the mirror, the she-beast I saw looking back at me was crazy intimidating. But I still hadn't reached my goal of joining the hockey team, which is kind of how my whole crazy muscle growth journey began. The day finally came, and when I stepped on the ice to try out, I could feel the adrenaline pumping. We started with skating and puck drills, and my muscles were starting to tighten. But then I heard the bullies heckling me. They were shouting and telling me to get back in the kitchen. It made me skate even harder, but then I heard them say something else. I hope your blade is fastened. And about that time, my skate collapsed and pain shot all through my ankle. Those jerks had found a way to tamper with my skates. I just knew it. Russell came to help me and he was looking at my ankle. He said it looked pretty swollen and suggested that I rest. But all I could think about was those jerks laughing at me and my adrenaline began to surge. Suddenly, my toe bulged and my muscle growth grew on my foot and my ankle immediately felt better. The pain was gone and it was stronger. The muscles didn't stop in my foot and my leg. They grew all over my body. I was pumped, and when I hit the ice this time, I played like a superhero. I dominated my opponents, skated with the torque of a rocket engine, and my slap shot was a thunderclap. The coach was impressed, but he didn't think I'd be able to handle the male aggression that came with the sport. But just then, I heard Russell yelping in the stands, and I saw those bullies pushing him around. I jumped over the railing and climbed up the stairs. They were calling Russell a freak and calling me his freak girlfriend. I took on all three of those bullies and totally smashed them in front of the whole team. I said I wouldn't stand for bullying and I wouldn't stand for anybody telling me what I could or couldn't do because of my gender. Russell and I left together and he said I was his hero. He said he dealt with bullying for a long time, but nobody stood up for him before. People don't respect me because a man is supposed to fight and be tough. But I don't want to fight and be tough. I just want to be left alone. I was encouraging Russell to be himself, and I realized I should take my own advice. I was reminded of what Spider-Man's uncle said, with great power comes great responsibility. After that day, I realized something about myself. I had all the makings of a superhero. I had courage, and I had super strength with muscle power that most didn't dare dream of. In order to truly be myself, I couldn't hide away because people would rather see me as a Barbie doll. I had to show my strengths, and I had to use my strengths. And that's when I could be a superhero to the world. And then Russell said that we shouldn't be afraid to show our love either. 
and he surprised me with a kiss. It was the kiss I thought would never happen, but I'm glad I waited for it. Would you know it, the school paper covered the hockey tryouts. They named me a hero for all athletes. The coaches were so impressed with my ability to handle myself with the meanest players on the team that they couldn't help but invite me to join. What's your secret power? Tell us about it in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more hidden wisdom stories. Remember, when you share our stories, you're sharing wisdom.